Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be testing out Apex Legends on the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. So I've actually been waiting for this to drop on Google Play and I've played it in the past but not on this tablet here. We were able to sideload it for a little while and log in but then they kind of cut that off. But now it's officially available on Google Play and you can download it right now. If you're not familiar with the Tab S8 Ultra, we've got a massive tablet here with a lot of power when it comes to Android. It's got a 14.6 inch AMOLED display. We've got the Snapdragon Gen 1 CPU, and this one just happens to be the 8GB model, but you can get this with up to 16GB of RAM. When it comes down to it, as making this video, the Tab S8 line are the most powerful Android tablets you can buy right now. They all have the Qualcomm Snapdragon Gen 1 CPU from the Tab S8, the Tab S8 Plus, and the Ultra, which we have here. And of course, I'm really interested to see if we can go ahead and max this game out on the Ultra. So it's still a bit early. I mean, there's been beta testing going on, and I believe this was released in a couple other countries. But this release, for the U.S. at least, has gone super smooth. I mean, I haven't had any issues with it. We'll head over here to the settings, and I'll show you what I'm working with here. We're going to go ahead and max this out. Uh, if I go to the original quality, it's going to bring that FPS down to 30 or normal, and I don't want that. So we'll go with Extreme HD. Uh, for the FPS, we're going to go to Ultra. And for smoothing, this is basically resolution scaling. I'm going to leave this off because it's going to bring the resolution down to help you keep that 60 FPS frame rate. I want to see if it'll do it without it. I know it will with it on. But we're also going to turn everything else on here. So we've got Bloom. We've got Dynamic Shadows. Everything's looking good. And it tells me that when I start my next match, all of these settings will be applied. But I'm going to go ahead and restart the game real quick. Just to make sure all of those stuck. And it looks like everything's still on. And we're going to head right into a practice match just to see how everything goes. And then what I want to do is plug this into my game capture and get some better footage of the screen so you can see how this thing performs in a battle royale. At first, going into this game, I wasn't sure if controllers were supported, but as soon as I connected it, we've got the settings that we can adjust everything through. I'm using an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth, and controllers do work with Apex Legends on Android right out of the box. And from the settings, you can actually turn on the FPS, but from the developer options on these Samsung devices, we can turn on GPU Watch. It's going to give us a nice little graph up there. We've got the FPS, CPU, and GPU usage. I think it's just a little more accurate. But so far, so good. I know there's not a lot going on. We're in a practice match, and we will get into a real match in a second. But I just wanted to see what would happen here. Frame rate's looking nice and steady. I'm sure we're getting a few dips here and there, but the game does look really good. Very smooth here at 60 FPS. And another reason I kind of wanted to run through this first was just to get that CPU and GPU heated up. A lot of people have been complaining about thermal throttling with the Gen 1, and in smaller devices I could definitely see it. But with the Tab S8 Ultra, we've got plenty of surface on the rear, and it does get a little warm, you know, the whole unit itself, but I haven't hit any kind of thermal throttling with this unit yet. But yeah, looking really good here. I think they've done a great job porting this over to Android. I know they've been working on it for a little while, but uh, having controller support right out of the box is definitely a big plus. That was something I was looking forward to. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my game capture. And the way I have it set up right now is an external device is actually capturing the screen. So we're not using any CPU or GPU on the tablet itself to record this footage. That way we're not taking a performance hit there and we should get the full performance out of this Gen 1. Okay, everything's looking pretty good so far. I did test this in DeX, and unfortunately you do need the touch screen to hit the back and continue button. But it does work in DeX, and I don't notice any kind of a performance hit. Never really have with DeX itself. So if you do want to run this on a big screen, you can always use it that way. Or just mirror the screen like we're doing here. On the initial drop-in, the FPS did go down to around 54 FPS every once in a while. And it looks like it's kind of fluctuating still, but it's really not that bad. It's not that noticeable in gameplay. And if I didn't have that frame counter on, I probably would think that this was just running at a constant 60. This tablet does have a 120 hertz display, but on every device that I've tested this game on so far, the highest I've been able to go is 60. So hopefully they do release like a 90 FPS patch in the future and maybe a 120. But I think they've kind of locked it down to 60. I could be wrong. And if you're running this at 90 FPS or higher, let me know in the comments below what device it is and what settings you're using. So I am seeing some fluctuation here. We could probably get rid of all of this by turning it down to just HD and not extreme HD. But still, I wanted to see what it would do totally maxed out. Contact, 
definitely trying its hardest to keep it at that 60 mark. Got a lot of stuff going on up here, so uh, yeah, I mean, really not too bad on the Snapdragon Gen 1. And again, this was released just a couple days ago as making this video, officially released on Google Play, so performance will get better over time. But yeah, it's definitely playable on the Tab S8 Ultra, and I kind of expected it would be. I mean, this is a higher-end tablet, kind of expensive. And, uh, you know, the Tab S8 has an 11-inch screen, but it has the same exact CPU, so you're going to get the same performance. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Was really interested to see how it performed, and it does a really good job. Got a few dips here and there. Not bad at all. And, uh, you know, if there's anything else you want to see this tested on, any other CPU, any other GPU when it comes to Android, let me know in the comments below. I might be able to dig something up. I'd like to kind of go through and just find the best budget device to play this game on. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.